Oh yeah, what's up guys? This is Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to talk to you about Liverpool. <laughs> That's right, not the city. I'm talking about the football club over there in England. Well, here's the thing. Their manager, who, by the way, has won lots of silverware and done an amazing job over the years. Well, he basically said today that he's going to be leaving Liverpool Football Club at the end of this year, sometime in June, I believe. And the reason why I'm talking about that is I want to show you how to use the Heartbeat tool, which, of course, you can download or use at h.ki. Feel free to follow along with me. I'm going to go over his interview and give you the, basically, the parts that, you know, I mean, the whole thing is great, don't get me wrong, but I want to show you the most important parts, in my opinion. And again, I'm a casual. I'm not a huge, you know, football fan. I love, I watch it, but from North America, and I call it football, not soccer. So here's my opinion, and here are the moments that I found best during his interview. And again, using the heartbeat tool, let's go. All right, so let's do this. So here is the interview by Jurgen Klopp. You'll see here, I'm on h.ki, and of course, I've got heartbeat installed. And these are the moments that I've identified as my favorite and the most poignant parts of his 26-minute interview. So let's just kick it off here and start right at the beginning. I will leave the club at the end of the season. There it is. <laughs> the words that a lot of people over there didn't want to hear, and I understand the guy won a lot of titles, a lot of silverware. Well, there it is. So there's the most important part of the whole video, in my opinion, and uh, right, it's right at the beginning. So let's keep going. Uh, a lot of people are wondering why he's leaving, and he leaves uh, He leaves a couple responses throughout the uh, interview, but let's go to his first one right here. What can I say that I'm running out of energy? There you go. Um, I have no problem now. Obviously, I think I, I, I know it already for, for longer. So in a nutshell, he's known for a while now, but he's running out of energy. He's been doing this for 24 years, I believe, he said during the interview. And, you know, at some point it catches up to you. And, I mean, we'll... I'm okay. I'm healthy. So as much as you can in my age. Uh... There you go. So he doesn't have any sickness. A lot of people quit because they've got to go get treatment or they've got some sort of illness. Jurgen does not. So that's another great thing that he mentions during the interview. Let's skip forward a little bit and let's go to the three-minute mark. He talks about how last season was hard. For me, it was super, super, super important that I can help to bring this team back on the rails. So there you go. So that was one of the reasons why he stuck around. He, he mentions that, you know, a lot of managers, if they had a, you know, had a hard year, even if they have like five to seven weeks of difficulties, often they, you know, the hangman often comes for them. But it didn't come for him, of course, because he's had lots of success. And obviously, he's a very good dude. <laughs> But uh, yeah, his job this year, he, he mentions he wanted to get a team back on track. So there you go. So let's move forward a little bit. The, he talks a little bit about uh, will there be negative impact over the rest of the season. But let's go ahead and click forward to what he thinks about his time at Liverpool. This is awesome. My, if you look at my, my career, this career is actually not possible, I would say. Jeez. Because where I'm coming from... Ending up as the manager of Liverpool FC is, is, a, is, a, is a fairy tale and a very difficult thing to, to plan. I would say impossible to plan and difficult to reach. But it's only possible if you are yeah. very busy and 100,000% committed to everything you do uh, when you dedicate your whole life to it. Um, so there you go. So when he says that he's running out of energy, let's keep that in mind that to get jobs like these big guys get, yeah, like he said, it's a it's a hell of a commitment. In fact, you gotta get it, dedicate your whole life to it. So, so there you go. Now let's read one of the reasons why he wants to leave here. He talks about right now in a few seconds. So uh, let's click on that one here. And I came here as a and I said it on the first day as a as a normal as a normal guy. I am still a normal guy. I just don't live a normal life for too long now. And I don't want to wait until I'm too old for having a normal life. Um, and so there you go. You heard it directly from him. He's been, like he said, he's been doing this for a long time. He dedicated his whole life to it. And now he just wants to step back and, and have a year, maybe maybe longer, of just having a, a normal life. So you got to give the guy, uh, you got to give him some slack for that one here. In terms of his commitment for the year, let's click on the next link here. I'll show you what he talks about in terms of the rest of the year. In it, and I am. I am. Nobody has to worry about my mindset. 
I just hope that I really, it would be really cool if you just could accept my decision as a difficult one, but the right one. So like he says, he's in it for the whole year. He's still got his contract remaining and he's going to give 100%. And, you know, the guy's, the guy's on the touchline running all the time, just screaming. And he's the real deal. So, I mean, there's no doubt about that one here. Uh, let's go forward a little bit uh, further. He gives a nice sports car analogy. And this is a really good moment I found. Uh, and, of course, again, using Heartbeat. Links in the description below. Let's kick on this one. With, I'm like a, a proper sports car. Not the best one, but a pretty good one. Can still drive 460, 170, 180 miles per hour. But I'm the only one who sees the tank needle is going down. The outside world doesn't see that. That's good. So you go uh, as long as you have to go. Um, but then you need a break. So there you go. If, if you haven't been convinced yet, the uh, sports car analogy I found that was also a pretty good part of this interview. And uh, again, and a lot of people are questioning, will he work as a manager ever again? He addresses that question right here. Let's skip forward and heartbeat here. If you ask me, will you ever work as a manager again? I would say now, no. But I don't know, obviously, what, how, how hmm. that will be because I never had the situation. What I know definitely, I will never, ever, I will never ever manage yeah. a different club in England than Liverpool, 100%. That's not possible. My love for this club, my respect for the people is so big, I couldn't. Couldn't for a second think about it. There's no chance. This is part of my life, part of my, we are part of family. We are, we feel home here. There's no chance to do that. Uh, so there you go. If you're worried that he's going to join another club or he's going to take another club in the, in the Premier League and you're going to be up against him, <laughs> I mean, you got to take his word on this. He's not going to be, uh, he's Liverpool or nothing if you're a Premier League follower. So those are the highlights or the heartbeats, in my opinion, for this uh, for this interview. Of course, again, I'm not, I'm a little bit of a, you know, a casual. So if you found other parts in it that you thought were, you know, more important or parts I should have highlighted, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Download the tool. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.